Hi, I wanted to briefly discuss how the uh, T Texas Instruments Bluetooth chips like the CC2640 R2 can be programmed and actually any other ARM Cortex-M core uh, from Texas Instruments. Um, so if you have a, a launchpad board, um, which is like their development, low-cost development platform, it's got the actual chip there and then actually this half of the board has got nothing to do with that it's just a debugger and programmer and so what you can do is you can plug in via usb to your pc and run code composer studio and using that you can once you've compiled and built up your program you can push that transfer that across uh, through here and this will then program up the cc 2640r2 you can do some debugging you can power off and then when you turn it back on again the code is still there so it's in in the flash and you, if you want to use this standalone then you can power it up either using the, the port here usb port and just apply five volts to it or if you wanted to you could even apply power on the on the header pins so that's how this works um but for the project that i was working on uh this was a pcb i built up and and it's not got enough space on there for a debugger so it's literally just got the bluetooth chip on there and nothing else so in order to program this i needed some other way and i didn't even have space uh, for for much on here so what i decided to do is go for using the tag connect system which is quite good because it's a very low cost way of putting a connection onto your board there's no actual connector that gets soldered here so what you do is you can just push that against there side there okay and then just hold it there while the board is being programmed and there are versions which can click and be held in place as well or you can get these things to plug on the end here in order to keep that pressed in but if you're just programming at one time or uh, the occasional firmware upgrade onto the, the chip on the board then you can just hold it in place while it's being programmed it's only it only takes about 10 seconds worth of holding it there and it's done uh, <clears throat> the other end of this is just a dual in line header 10 way and there is a debug and um, programming device from Texas Instruments it's called the XDS 110 and uh, it comes with a whole bunch of connectors which can go onto here for plugging onto various boards but it doesn't have one for the tag connect so I got this circuit board um, made up and it's got uh, two two parts to it and they can just be hacksawed off and this particular one sorry can't see that uh, this this one is for using with the tag connect so here's what I assembled earlier uh, the larger one has just got general purpose pins it's just a one-to-one -one mapping so if you wanted to you could put jumper connections on here uh, if you didn't want to use a ribbon cable and just try something out with that uh, while developing something but if if you've got your board ready and you've got the tag connect header on there then you can plug this in so if I plug that in like that so that's all ready for plugging into the board and then this end will just fit to this I made a mistake it should actually have gone this way um, but I, I didn't pay attention while I was doing it so I've, <laughs> I've actually got to plug it in the other way around uh, but it's okay there's still plenty of room there it is so that's it this this connection doesn't get used normally it's just general purpose input output and some serial port on there so this this is now ready for plugging onto the, uh, the board once it's made up and this works exactly the same way as the the debugger on the launch pad so when you're using code composer studio there's actually no difference uh, when you're using the XDS 110 it, you follow the same workflow same process and it'll end up programming the board and I have assembled a couple of boards now so here they are so you can see they're pretty tiny and uh, I I used the the tag connect header the uh, connection to uh, put some software in there just a test program so if I put the battery on here the right way around okay okay so batteries in and uh, the, the test program doesn't do much it just flashes that LED when I press the button on the, on the back 
of the module. So if I hit that, see it flashing away. So that's successfully programmed up the chip uh, using the XDS 110, and um, I can now put the desired firmware on there. Thanks for watching.